Okay, last week I uh, went out of town and I set my webcam up just pointing out my front uh, window here and captured uh, still frames every couple of seconds and I'm going to show you uh, the basics of just capturing still images from a USB webcam. Um, I'm going to be using a tool called UVC Capture. It should be in your repository, so just search with your uh, package manager. I'll use Aptitude, but you can use Aptget or Synaptic or whatever package manager or software manager you use should be in there. Once it's installed, uh, as of right now, I'm inside just an empty directory. You can see there's no files in here. I'm going to go UVC capture. If I just do dash M and hit enter, it's going to use dash M telling it to use basically the default settings. Um, and if I list out files now, you'll see a file called snap.jpg and we can open that file up using display if you have image magic installed which you probably do and there's the screenshot out my front window it took uh, every once in a while you get a little glitch up here um, I believe that's basically just because you're turning on the web camera and taking a picture and if you, especially if you have a cheap web camera like me uh, the camera may not be fully going when it takes a picture but that happens occasionally it's not a, a huge deal um, also you notice that there's a wasn't the highest resolution in the world if you open up the help file you can see I have lots of options here and you can adjust the height and width uh, using dash X and dash Y as long as your camera supports uh, whatever resolution you're putting in and there's other options in here one is the dash O which we're about to go over to change the name that you're saving to so you can see the default is snap.jpg so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the same command as before UVC capture dash M and then I'll do dash O it's a lowercase O and then quotations I'll just say test.jpg now you'll notice um, that there is no space between the O and the quotations for the file name here uh, that's something a little unusual about this program is that normally you would have spaces in between your little switches there and the, the parameters you're putting in but uh, in case of this program Anytime you give a parameter, it seems like you don't put a space there. So that's important. That can confuse you. It did me at first. So we'll hit enter. You see it takes a second. It turns on the camera, takes a picture, and turns the camera off. Uh, now if we list out, you can see we have a, two files, snap.jpg and test.jpg. I'm going to type display and my test uh, file. And there you go. You can see out my front window there once again. No glitch in this one. Now, uh, you can also set um, a UVC capture to capture right here uh, with dash T to take continuous snapshots every so many seconds that you set. So if we run that same command again, um, UVC capture, um, and you can name the file or not, just up to you. I'm going to do dash T and I'll say 2 for 2 seconds. And we'll hit enter and here every two seconds it will take a picture now right about now it's been five six seconds so three pictures should have been taken now probably four or five but if I hit control C to kill that and I list you'll notice there's still only two files in there and the reason is it's automatically overwriting that test file and even if I remove the file name to where it's going to save by snap you would think automatically this program is probably going to add some sort of uh, number counting at the end or timestamp to change the name of the file but it doesn't <laughs> so if I control C again you'll notice we still only have two files if we look at display I mean if we display out snap.jpg it is a different photo than earlier you notice there's no glitch at the top um, but basically it's just every two seconds to take a new picture but it's overwriting the last one now there is an option in this program to run a command so I thought I'd be clever and use that and basically I would run our basic command uh, UVC capture dash M for default settings dash two T2 two for two seconds and I would do C and I would do something like move snap dot JPEG to and then I would do something like this which is basically renaming the file or moving the file renaming it same thing um, to a file that is basically named as a timestamp so I hit that you know I thought I'd be clever like that and it says there's an error 
And to be quite honest, I'm not really sure why, because if I list out the files, I have those two files. If I take that same exact command and paste it in there, now it works, no errors. I moved that file from one to another. I even tried, there is a w command. I'm just basically going through now some little headaches I had with this program, playing around with it so that you don't have the same headaches. And if you read what w does, w will wait for capture command to finish before starting next capture. So I figured, oh, okay, it's trying to move the file while it's taking another picture. That's the problem. Well, I put the dash w in there and still get an error. So how did I get around this? I just ignored all that and just did it like I would in a normal script. So the way I did it before is basically I said while one, oops. So basically I'm looping forever. What am I going to do? Well, I'm going to UV, uh, UVC capture dash M and I will name the output file once again, I'll give it a date stamp. I think that's the easiest way, but obviously you can come up with your own way of numbering the files so that the file name changes and you can keep them in proper order. So at this point, it would take a picture and save it to a file with a date stamp over and over and over and over again. Uh, when I was doing it, I wanted to wait approximately five seconds between each photo. So what I did was I did sleep four. So it would sleep for four seconds each time. The reason I did four, not five, is because you gotta take into account the time that it takes to take the image, which is probably about a second. And my original script, uh, and something I'm not gonna get in today, was then uploading that file to my web server. So I have not only a backup copy, so if someone was to break into my house and steal a computer, I would still have the images of them doing that on a server somewhere else, but also I could remotely access it without having to access my computer directly. So doing that, we'll hit enter and let it go for a little while. Now you could add some sort of echo command in there to give yourself some sort of output because right now you don't really know what's going on. So you could add an echo command, some sort of output for the user. But we'll just let it go for a little bit and we'll hit control C to kill it. And now if we list, you can see it took four pictures in that amount of time. Um, so actually probably three pictures because there was one already there. Anyway, uh, so that is how I looped through and uh, took pictures every four to six seconds, I would say, four to five seconds and upload them. Once again, when you're doing this, you can upload, if you want to upload the file, multiple different ways. You could use SSH, like an SS, or ST, eh, SFTP, regular FTP. Um, the way I did it was I just used curl to upload it to a, a uh, web form on my website. Uh, which is something I'm going to get to in probably a couple of weeks here. Um, but I just wanted to show you the basics of uh, capturing still images from the webcam using UVC capture. Um, there are other programs out there I tried in the past, and this is the only one that seems to work for every webcam I've tried it on. Uh, that's at least USB or built into the computer. So basically any modern webcam. Um, so UVC capture. Uh, and uh, obviously, like I said, it has lots of features, lots of options, if you look through the help or the man file, um, but uh, not all of them, I completely understand how they work. <laughs> you do have options for brightness and contrast, saturation and, and gain, uh, stuff I have not played with. Um, if you do, just run the default command. In fact, let's do that. So forget all this, and we'll just say, once again, UVC capture dash M for all the default settings. Uh, we do that, once again, it saves to a file called snap.jpg. You don't really get any output there. If you do dash V for uh, verbose, you get a little more information here. It's telling you the resolution it's capturing at, what it's saving to, what device it's capturing to, uh, from, which, uh, by the way, it defaults to video zero, which if you only have one webcam device, that uh, there's a good chance that's what it is. Um, you can set device, once again, if you look at the help file, by using dash D. Um, but in a lot of cases, the default one will work, but in some cases, like my last computer had a TV tuner card, which showed up as video uh, zero all the time, so I would have to make sure that I knew what uh, device my webcam was, which was usually video one under devices. Once again, default resolution, uh, it's uh, only taking one image, 
Um, there's different ways of capturing. Default is MMAP. I haven't tried other ways. And as you can see here, it has default uh, contrast and saturation levels, which you can all modify using the commands. Just once again, UVC capt capture dash help, actually dash dash help, or use the man file, which doesn't really give any more information than this. But uh, I just thought I'd share that with you. Once again, should be in the repositories and go ahead and play uh, with that. I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day. Also, please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Uh, there's links in the description as well as links to our Facebook uh, fan page. Go ahead over there and give us a like if you like these videos. And uh, I just hope that you have a great day. Thanks for watching.